I know that there are many other poems, Sadhguru, but I'm going to ask you at this point not to read the one that I'd originally intended, but to move on to your guru poems, where you actually speak of your own master. Hmm. These are among the most uh, spare poems in the book, and perhaps amongst the strongest. So it would be a pity to bring this to a close without reading those poems. Where is that? 161. My master, brooding, squinting, staring, I could not hit the mark. He, wa he walks in like a wanton monarch with a crooked stick and he makes his mark. My master, lost Lost to life and death, both I did, but moved me not. A man who walks with a stick comes to me, the able-bodied one. Having seen birth and death and all that life can be quit, still sitting dumbstruck, here comes the man with a stick to have me struck with his light lightning stick, my master. I let the whole world go by of spiritual and material, of land and sky. I searched in the mother's womb and in the lover's bosom, but such a one I did not find till I clawed to him like a worm. I'm sorry, till I crawled to him like a worm. My master, what can the poor guru do? All I have done is do and do. After seeking all that is there, after seeking all that is there to see, he comes to teach me how to be, my master. The breath that passes out will not come back. The guru who, the guru who touched me and left me, left me not and need not come back. Hmm? Well, this… Uh, hey, even the tissue's wet, what the hell? Uh, this is during the Anadi program. We had a ninety-day program in uh, Isha Institute of Inner Sciences in 2010, eleven years ago. Well, in many ways, uh, as the wholeness program here. There it was the Anadi. So, <laughs> it was a… the wholeness program was what we did here ninety days. The paucity of organization. <laughs> Every day we had to collect money from the volunteers to buy that day's vegetables. That's how we were. And the days when it didn't turn out like that, we just fried green gram and ate happily and drank ganji. And everybody was fine and when it rained, the hut collapsed. So they need… they said they need three days to build that and put the anti-termite treatment. So we went up in the mountains and stayed for three days. When it was raining, pouring day and night in monsoon time, but we did everything the program went on, everybody did their sadhana. 
my girl was just uh, three and a half years of age, I think, uh, yeah, three, four years of age. With her there in the pouring rain, everything went on fine. Well, in United States, uh, things were much better organized. We had a proper Mahima Hall. And the people, uh, for them it was a very strange situation to sit with somebody like this for ninety days. They never imagined they would do that. Not that here it was any different, even here it was the same, but it's more so because culturally they were much less prepared in that way. So we did various sadhanas and various possibilities in that uh, <laughs> this is… Uh, this is something that I always see uh, when I speak something or when I… in some way when I touch somebody's lives, the next thing they will ask me, Sadhguru, who is your guru? They think I went to some school <laughs> It's like if you write… Uh, you know, if you write good poetry, people will ask, who taught you English? Who… which college you went to? Like that, that's the same question. Well, uh, <laughs> that's not how it works. At, at that time, I wrote these five poems mm, right there sitting on stage in front of people when they were doing something. In about ten, twelve minutes, I had these five things ready because I don't really formulate things. When I'm writing this word, I don't know what's the next word. You know, I don't know the sentence or the line that I'm writing. I only know one word. After that, I'm just writing. <laughs> So, maybe it's my partner. 